Packing a carry-on bag for embarkation day is really important. There are a few items that you must bring with you before you are allowed to board the ship. Now, I'm gonna review all of those items, plus I'm gonna give you a few extra items that you can bring with you to make sure that your cruise starts out stress-free. Hey guys, I'm so glad you stopped by today. I'm always so happy to talk about cruising with my favorite people. As we talk about these must-pack items for your carry-on bag, I'm also going to suggest a few more things to include. Plus, I'm going to let you in on a pro tip. And if you stick around to the very end, I'm going to share with you a downloadable packing list that I created just for you guys. Look, you're only going to be relying on your carry-on bag items for the first part of your day. Don't carry everything on the ship with you, especially if you're boarding early. You're going to get so tired of lugging it all around with you until your room is ready. Just bring the necessities. Also, bring a bag that you're comfortable carrying around, a backpack or a sling bag. Try to avoid the bags that are going to hurt your hands because you're going to be carrying them for a good length of time. When you board, you're most likely want to explore the ship and you're going to be walking around and you're going to be lugging these bags around until late afternoon until your room is ready. Here are my recommendations. Everyone is different and based on your needs and your family's needs, you're going to add some additional items to your bag or you might not add everything I suggest. These are again suggestions, um, but the first few are definitely must bring. Number one, travel documents. You need to bring your passport. If you're not get, you know, coming with a passport, you have your birth certificate and a valid driver's license or another form of identification. Depending on which cruise line you're sailing with, you already know what you need. Bring them with you and pack them in your carry-on bag. So I bring this with me on every trip and I love it because it zips up. So I keep everybody's passports in here. I'm the keeper of all things. So I'm sure either mom or dad or husband, wife, partner, you know who you are if you're that person in the family, you're the one responsible. So I always make sure I have eyes on my passports and I put them in here. This goes in my carry-on. If you pack this, in your luggage and the porter takes them you're not getting on the ship they don't play around with identification so bring your passports and your documentation let's talk about carry-ons we did say hey don't bring something that's going to hurt your hands carrying them around because you got too much stuff in there and it's going to be too heavy so what i normally do my normal go-to and i apologize if it's not the cleanest bag because it does need to be washed. We just came back from a trip. But I just have a small, back, you know, book bag, backpack. And everything fits in here. I normally put all of my travel documents in the front pouches so they're very easy to get to. And I keep them separated from everything else so I don't get things mi mixed up. And when I'm in line, I can be quick. I don't want to hold the line up. And then we're going to talk about what goes in everything else. Now, I do have another bag. I recently started taking this one, but, and I'll explain what I did with this in a second. So this guy is just like a big tote bag. It doesn't have a zipper closure, but there's a whole bunch of room inside here. I still have stuff left in here, it looks like. But what I did the last two trips that I took, I took this bag empty. This bag was full and I stuck it down inside here while it was full and then I was carrying this around all day so I wasn't really comfortable I'm not gonna lie I wasn't really comfortable carrying this around all day the handles they're not terrible they're not the worst but they're not the best either they're not padded I did this the first time because we were bringing on I think a bottle of wine and it was something else and I didn't have room for it in the backpack because I put my laptop in there and everything else but I had room for it in here and I knew once we would get to the cabin, I would be able to take it out. And then it left me with this extra tote bag. So if I bought souvenirs or anything that I purchased along the way, I had another bag to put it all in coming home. 
because if you're like me, my bags are packed to the max. I need to get better. I promise, I keep promising everyone, I'm going to get better at packing and you're going to be along for that journey. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. Always a backpack. Everybody in my family brings their own backpack and I give them their list. I have a packing list and I'm going to share it with you guys here in a little bit. But I give them their own list and they pack. They're responsible for packing their own bag. And um, that's what I bring. The next thing that you want to make sure you're putting in your carry-on bag is medication. I can't stress this enough. If you are on daily medication of any kind, or if anyone in your family is on daily medication, or if there are any kids that maybe have allergies and you need to bring that EpiPen, put it in your carry-on. So I always take, um, I have a little container like this. You can get them anywhere. I think I got mine on Amazon, but it opens up. And I labeled it. It didn't come this way. I just put the days of the week across. And before we leave on a week-long trip, I just put all my daily medication in there. And this comes with me on my carry-on. I have been asked in the past if there was any issues bringing this on without, let's say, bringing my, you know, prescription bottle. I've never been stopped. Knock on wood, but I've not uh, had any issues whatsoever just bringing on my medication like this. So that goes into my carry-on. Again, if anything happens to your luggage, whether it's arriving late and you need to take medicine before you eat dinner, let's say, if it's in your luggage, you're not going to have your medicine. Also, if for, you know, something crazy happens to your luggage and you're not getting it, at least you have your medicine for the week. I know that, you know, there are certain medications that you guys are taking that you cannot be without. So please double check your medicine. So put that in that bag. The other thing that you want to make sure that you bring kind of along the lines of medicine is seasick medication of any kind. Now, seasoned cruisers, you know if you need it or not, and you know what kind you like, just, and you know to put it in your bag. If you're a new cruiser and you're here, the first thing that I would like to say is if, even if you don't get car sick or motion sick, still purchase some sort of motion sick medication because you don't know how you're going to react on the sea, especially if you run into a storm because it can get pretty rocky out there. Now I grew up motion sick all the time. I would get sick in the car. I get sick everywhere. <laughs> so I'm always bringing mine with me. So my go-to, I know a lot of you like this too. Um, I bring Bonine. There are different types of Bonine. This is the non-drowsy. I don't have any issues with this whatsoever. It does not make me tired and I can take this. I usually start taking this the day before the cruise and then I just take one every morning when I brush my teeth and I'm fine the whole cruise. So that's what I take. There are people out there who like to put the patches on. I did try the patches, but I had a bad reaction to them. So I went back to the Bonine and there's the bands that you can buy, the C bands. You can Dramamine is another um, go-to. It does have a different type of medication active medicine. Uh, mesaline is what's active in Bonine, and I forget what it is in Dramamine, but it's it's kind of the same. So find what works for you and bring it. Again, new cruisers, just go buy a bottle or go buy a box of this stuff. You get eight chewable tablets. Chew them. I know they don't taste the best. They don't taste terrible, but they don't taste the best. But just swallowing them whole isn't going to cut it. You got to crunch it up and get it in your system. So get that. It doesn't work if you're already sick. <laughs> I don't know how many times I tell my my friends and my kids' friends this. Oh, we don't need it. We're not sick. Then they get sick. Then they want the bonine. You can start taking it. Eventually it'll kick in, but it's going to take a lot longer, maybe the whole rest of the day before you're going to feel better. But if it's already in your system, then you're going to be good. The next thing that you want to make sure you're bringing in your carry-on is cash and credit cards. So you want to make sure you bring in your credit card because they're going to take that credit card and that's what's going to secure your CPAS card so you can make purchases on the ship. They will hold, depending on the uh, cruise line, they're usually going to hold $100 to $200 um, 
on that credit card. They don't charge you. They just hold it. I'm sure you've had that happen with some other things in the past. Just in case you happen to be looking at your account and you see that money, that's what it is. It's just a hold. As soon as you finish the cruise and you cash out and you pay everything um, in full, then that drops. You won't see that anymore. They don't charge you. So bring your credit card. Also, try to bring $1 bills, $5 bills, some of the lower end denominations because you're going to be tipping probably more than you think, even if you prepaid for your gratuities. So if you order room service, I get it. You don't have to tip the person that brings your room service. I like to. I just feel funny not giving them something. So I just give them a dollar or two, just depending on what I'm, you know, what I'm getting. But I just give them a dollar or two. And I like to have, a, you know, kind of a stack of ones. I keep them in the safe. And that way, I don't, it's probably a me thing. Comment down below if you're the same way with tipping. But I just feel like they're working hard. You know, give them a couple dollars. You also want to have some of that cash on hand when you get um, to the porter who's going to take your main luggage. You've got your carry-on. And you should have a couple dollars for each bag that they're checking for you. I make sure that the cash is with you at all times. I don't trust it in your luggage. Your luggage could get lost or your money could get lost if you get my drift. Keep your money with you all the time. Once you get in your cabin, then you go ahead and put it in your safe. Um, you can go ahead and set your safe code or swipe your credit card, depending on which ship. And you're going to be good with that. The next item I want to talk about are contacts, glasses, eye drops. Put all of that in your carry-on. You don't want to be without your glasses. You don't want to be without your contacts. And you definitely don't want to be without any of the eye drops you need or the cleaning agents that you're using to clean your contacts if you don't have daily contacts. So make sure you're packing that in your carry-on. Treat it like a medication. Because without these, I can't see. <laughs> I can, I cannot see anything. I can't read anything. So it's very important. And if they got lost, I would really be in for it. You want to make sure that you include in that carry on chargers for your phone. So we all have our cell phones and we all have, you know, we've got our cords, right? So, you know, you can hook up to a USB port. The other end goes in your phone. We're going to have connection. It's going to charge your phone once you get in your room so once you get in your room there is probably at least one usb port depending on your ships the newer ships have usb ports some of the older may not and if you do not have usb ports in your room then what you want to purchase is a cube so this one i love so who makes this pal save i don't know if you guys can see that or not i got it on amazon and I, I do not get any type of uh, kickback from Amazon. So if you go and buy something from Amazon, I'm not getting anything for it. But it is, I really do like it. It's small and it's compact and it's easy to fit into my carry-on. But this one has three USB ports. So if space is a limit or if USB ports is a limit in the room, you can share with your partner and there's no fighting over USBs. Or with the kids because that happens we know that happens <laughs> and it also gives you additional plugs they're the US plugs they are not the European plugs just so you guys know but I take this one I also bring if you have an eye watch so I have an eye watch I have this little thing and I know it's got little caps that I have not put back it's just a USB so once this is plugged in I plug this in my watch my watch just lays over this and that charges my watch so I don't have to bring anything big because at home here I've got you know it's a pretty big thing it holds my phone and my watch and my ear pods and it charges all of them I don't want to take all that with me on a cruise so I just got this and I don't see a name of who makes this one but I probably got it on Amazon so look for this little guy if you've got an iWatch. It's a really good travel, a travel charger for your um, iWatch. If you bring one of these that has an extension cord attached, most likely it's going to get confiscated and it's going to be taken away from you. 
And if it has a surge protector built in, it will get taken away from you. So when you're purchasing anything like this, just make sure a lot of them will tell you if it's been approved by a cruise line on the listing, just double check it. I, you know, I do like this one. I think the kids tried to steal this one from me on the last trip, but I got it back. They're the things that I really think you all need to have, must bring, you know, obviously the travel documents and your medication and your cash and your credit card. Those main three off the bat, do it. If you don't have glasses, don't worry about other contacts and your phone chargers. I'm sure you all have phone chargers. Talk about quickly are some of the things that I recommend, some of the things that I put in my travel bag all the time. And the first thing is sunglasses. As many glasses as I've got laying around here. I don't think I have my sunglasses around here right now. Um, but bring your sunglasses, even if you flew in or you, tr you drove in and it was a rainy day. You're not always thinking about your sunglasses. That's when I forget them, right? When you don't need them. So if you get up in the morning and you're traveling and it's sunny, you always, you know, you know, you need your sunglasses and you get, you grab them. Just make sure you have that on your check sheet. Bring sunglasses. It's going to get sunny on your cruise. You're going to have a wonderful, beautiful time. Now, sunscreen. Bring sunscreen. So in my travel carry on, I bring little ones. So I pack the big ones, right? Put them, I get all kinds because we get, you know, everybody in the family is different between 8, 15, 30, 50, 100 and more. <laughs> so, you know, my boys, they don't, they don't tan very easily. So they're, they're spraying on a hundred. I tan very easily and I'll start out with 30. So this little one is what I bring, this little 30. And then once I get a good base, I'll go grab my eight and I use that. And I know, please don't comment, but no, you're going to comment. I know you are. I should be using more than that all the time, but I like to get a little color. So I bring this. I also bring baby bum. It's mineral 50. So this is actually for your face. It's a face stick. So you just, it kind of looks like a little thing of deodorant and you just rub this on your face. And it protects you there. And I like to have this one because it's tiny. It's very lightweight and compact. Goes in my carry-on. And I cannot go without having some chapstick. So I always go for Sun Bum, the coconut, just because I like it. It has SPF 30. I don't like getting sunburn on my lips. So everybody has their favorite type of chapstick. Just throw it in your carry-on. I recommend to bring with you is a hat. So I have a hat here. It's just a ball cap. So I have a ball cap here, and I'll just hang it right on my backpack and I don't have to worry about using any inside space. But I bring a hat because when you get on the ship, if you're going to the Caribbean and it is a beautiful morning, beautiful day, and you go right outside to the pool deck, you're going to want your sunglasses, your sunscreen and your hat. Try to keep that sun off your face as much as possible. Or you can bring your floppy hat if you have a big brimmed hat. I just think that that's a little much to bring in your carry-on. You might be bringing a big carry-on and that's great. I just don't want to carry that much. So I usually pack that hat in my big suitcase. But bring a little hat or some of you have the sun visors. That's good too. And I know most of the guys just wear a ball cap. Or bucket. Y'all like those bucket hats? I've been thinking about getting one. A bucket hat person. It seems like it shades you all the way around. Oh, and before I forget, I always forget to do this and have to go back and do it later. But before I forget, if you would be so kind and hit the like button for me, it really helps the channel. And if you like what you see here and you're enjoying the content here at Cruise Savvy, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell because that is free. And that notification bell will just let you know when we post a new video. And I want to have you back. All right, let's continue. If you want to start your vacation early, pack a swimsuit ladies put your swimsuit in there and put a cover up in there um gentlemen just your you know your swim trunks put them in your roll them up put them in your carry-on because as soon as you get on the ship there are bathrooms everywhere just go in and change you'd be surprised how many people are not in the pool and how many people are not in the hot tubs and they're open so are the water slides generally so it's a good time for the kids to get a head start you guys could start relaxing and taking advantage of your vacation immediately. If you pack all this stuff in your carry-on. If you don't, 
then you're waiting until your room is open and generally that could be three o'clock in the afternoon depending so if you want to get a head start on vacation pack your bathing suits if you are going to pack your bathing suit the next thing that i suggest that you put in there is some type of wet bag and what do i mean by wet bag anything plastic that you can throw your wet bathing suit back into that's not going to make everything else in your bag soaking wet so i have i know this isn't what it's for but it's what i use it for i use packing cubes in my big suitcase and this came in one of my sets that i had purchased it's really a shoe bag <laughs> and i like it because it's got a drawstring so i can put all my bathing suits in there anything that's wet that goes in here and roll it up and throw it back down in my backpack and it keeps everything good until i get to the room then once i get to the room i take it out and depending on my room if i have a balcony i usually take it out and lay it out over the chairs on the balcony so they'll dry out or if you're in a cabin check in your bathroom if you're a new cruiser this is a little hint this is a tip for you in your shower it's going to look like um circular metal caps on each side of your shower and it's going to look like it has something in the center it does if you pull it there's a string it comes out it's like a cable and it goes all the way across to the other one and it'll clip on the other side and that's right there in your bathroom so you can go ahead and hang your clothes up in the shower i don't know how long i cruised before i figured that one out so you guys will be ahead of me on that <laughs> if you don't want to put back on the same clothes after you get out of the pool bring an extra shirt maybe even an extra pair of shorts it's up to you um, an extra change of clothes and put that in your carry-on also in the event that your luggage doesn't show up and you have to go to dinner if you just want to feel a little fresh and change into something clean because you've been traveling all day then you have it with you the other thing that i put in my carry-on is my contact information i just take my luggage tag i have an you know i have a couple extra ones i print out and i attach it on the inside of my backpack somewhere and generally i'll also put a little more information on this one like my phone number or something to that effect in other words if i accidentally leave my backpack on the ship somewhere and i'm not paying attention and i go and somebody finds it for me if they look in there they're going to see this i usually put it somewhere that's you know pretty obvious they're going to see this they're going to know what cabin that it belongs to they're going to have my name and they're going to be able to call me if they would like to call me or they can just take it to guest services but i feel a little bit better by putting my contact information inside my carry-on the other thing that i put in my carry-on is an air tag i don't know if you guys are all familiar with air tags they're little tracking devices made by apple if you have an iphone you have a find me feature so i put one in my each of my suitcases my big luggage and then i put one in my carry-on bag so at least i know that my luggage is on the ship with me as long as i know it's on the ship i'll find it right i'm just worried it's going to be left on the dock somewhere so with these you might not be able to tell what floor your bag is per se but when after you set sail you can see if your luggage is sitting back on the dock or if it's traveling with you pretty much done our video today i promised you a few things if you stuck with me to the very end we were talking about luggage and worrying about whether you're going to get your bag or not if you're flying to the ship if you're flying in to the cruise port don't pack all of your clothes in one suitcase hear me out because i never did this before and i heard this from one of my friends and i'm like that's a brilliant idea so what you do if you're traveling with a partner or your husband and you each usually bring one large bag you pack half of your stuff in your bag pack the other half in his bag and then he does the same thing so if one of those bags gets misplaced by the airline you both have a few days worth of clothes in the other luggage let's hope they don't lose both but you'll have better chances right 
So we started doing that. And even if I'm traveling by myself, I still try to switch it up a little bit and not uh, put all my clothes in one luggage. So I put a little here, a little there, and mixed it up. That way I wouldn't be completely at a loss if something did happen when you're flying in. One last little gift that I have for you. I'm going to show it to you here on the screen, but I couldn't sleep last night and I decided to make this little packing list for you guys. And if you take a look, I've got it divided up here. So the first page you're going to see the stuff that we just kind of covered for your carry on bag. And then I broke it down with some essentials some toiletry items and so on. You're going to see that, the kind of everybody type of um, packing situation. And then as you go down to the next page, I provided a page for um, husband, wife, partners. You each have your own line and you could go through there. I also put some additional lines. So if you're bringing stuff that I didn't think to bring or we just have different tastes, different things, you know, not everybody's the same you can write in, you have enough room to write stuff in and then you can check it off as you go. I put the line for how many days, how many things you need. So in other words, if you're going on a seven day cruise next to shorts, maybe you put three pair of shorts there. And then once you pack those three pairs of shorts, check it off and then just keep going through your list. That's what I do. I usually start packing a week before usually, and it keeps me sane. I'm a list person. <laughs> I don't know if you are or not, or you are probably like some other people in my family who they wait to, what time do we leave? Oh, we're leaving the house at 8 a.m.? Okay, they start packing at 7.30, and I am not kidding. So it's like, phew, phew. I don't know how they get it all in there, but they have their list. They tell me they got it, and, you know, I'm not going to go behind them anymore. They're too old for that. So... I still use the list for myself to make sure I'm not going to forget anything. The next page I added for children or teens. So I mixed up the items a little bit and you have a girl side, a boy side, or you can use both sides, whatever floats your boat. It doesn't matter to me how you use this list uh, as long as it helps you in some way. And then on the last page, I gave you blank page pretty much just with lines and check boxes. So you can fill it out any way that you want. So it's a PDF document. I'm going to figure out how to get it to you. So I will put it in the description below if there is a link. I think I'm going to try to put it on a Google Share Drive and give you all the link to that. If it's something different, I'll put a note in that description as to how you can get a copy for yourself. And then you can print it out as many times as you want. Well, that's it. I hope you guys have had a great weekend. Well, it is a weekend here. When you watch it, it could be on a Thursday night. So, so let's just say wherever you are, I hope you're having a great time. I hope you're enjoying yourself. If you're out on a cruise, you know what we say. Happy sailing. And I hope I see you soon. If you are like me and I have 15 pairs of glasses. And I want you to have I want to have you back. So please go ahead and hit that subscribe. I'm at a loss for words today. <laughs>